So Wu Chang Fallen Feathers just released and today we're going to be having a look at its performance on the 9070XT and the 5070Ti and today we're pairing that with a 7800X3D processor that is paired with 6000 megatransfers per second CL30 memory just XMP. None of the GPUs are overclocked or undervolted or anything like that. I wanted to add just a small portion for overclocking unfortunately i did run out of time time is a little bit of a, <laughs> a rare commodity for me at the moment but uh, i did test a few settings here settings that i do think that uh, you'll find helpful if i had more time i would have tested more settings but with that said let's get right into the benchmarks all right so we've got nvidia on the left and amd on the right and so i want to point out the graphical glitches there on the amd side on the right i'm not sure what's happening there i restarted the game i reinstalled my drivers it always happens but only in the specific spot it disappears there right so currently we're testing at 1440p extreme preset it's very heavy with tsr set to 100 i'm only testing tsr here just to get a complete apples to apples comparison when it comes to performance and you can see the 5070 ti pulls ahead slightly 63 average frames per second versus 60 fps now if we use the lss and fsr set to quality this game works the same as Black Myth Wukong where you've got a percentage slider so I just manually set the percentages to quality. Again the 5070 Ti pulls ahead a little bit. Now the game I didn't really experience a lot of stuttering. There are some traversal stutters you'll see now as we turn left here towards the riverside there's always a stutter there right um, so I think that's a traversal stutter. <laughs> it always happens on both GPUs as well um, but other than that the game has been quite okay for me now if we kick on frame generation here again we see that fsr is quite a bit ahead of dlss frame generation here and we actually see that in quite a few games and that is because i believe that fsr frame generation uh, is lighted it's got less overheads than dlss frame generation and that's why we see that now i just wanted to point out the latency here right if you if you haven't seen it just go back to the previous uh, settings the latency when you use frame generation is lower than when you're not using frame generation and the reason for that is you cannot enable nvidia reflex natively in this game now nvidia Re reflex gets enabled automatically when you use frame generation so don't let that fool you yeah it's not uh, it feels pretty much the same as without frame generation but you do get a higher frame rate obviously but it's because there is no reflex option in the game. So if frame generation is not enabled, reflex not enabled, frame generation gets enabled, reflex gets, gets enabled, and that's why the latency stays pretty much the same. All right, now if we drop this down to the high preset, just wanted to do some preset scaling here. As I said, I'm not going to be testing too many settings here. I'm quite short on time. <laughs> Sorry about that. But uh, you're at 1440p high uh, with TSR set to 100% once again, just to get a a performance apple to apples comparison here we are seeing that both perform pretty much the same here right 74 frames per second average previously on the extreme preset the uh, nvidia gp pulled ahead a bit but on the high preset it seems that you know, both both have uh, equalized now here again when we start enabling dlss i'm actually using dlss 4 which is heavier than dlss 3 but it's actually it performs the same as TSR on the NVIDIA GPU which is quite strange now we're seeing 120 frames per second versus 116 frames per second you're not going to notice that when playing at all but the GeForce GPU does have a slight lead here uh, I'm not sure why I stood still there <laughs> um, and then if we once again if we kick on frame duration once again the latency it's around 30 milliseconds right which it's pretty much the same as what it was previously but uh, <laughs> uh the, as i explained uh, that's because reflex gets enabled when you enable frame generation right and again fsr frame generation is slightly ahead here now if we kick on frame generation 3x again i'm just showing this for the people that are interested i just want to point out one thing the shadows on her back when there are tiny leaves casting shadows on her back when using 3x and 4x fg that becomes a little bit noisy fg 2x is fine fg 3x is okay but fg 4x uh, you probably won't see it in the in the video as well as i want to to point out but the shadows on her back do become 
very, very noisy. But that said, without pixel peeping, that's actually the only issue that I could pick out, right? Sure, if I if I slow down 100 times and zoom in 300 times, I'll spot issues. But just uh, playing the game, it's for me personally, it's quite hard to notice these artifacts. All right, now if we move to 4K here, yeah, once again, TSR 100%. I actually started testing TSR because I was told this game does not support FSR. Only when I put in the radio on the radio on gpu did i <laughs> see that it does support fsr anyway uh so i test started testing tsr and uh, then i just moved on to fsr later on so once again 41 versus 39 really no difference in the performance there whatsoever if we kick on dlss and fsr quality uh, again the nvidia gp pulls ahead a little bit um it's really <laughs> there's there's not going to be a noticeable dif difference between these two when you play the game except in image quality i will say that dlss looks a lot better than fsr in this game and this is not fsr4 i'm not even sure if the game does support fsr4 via optiscaler uh, you can you can maybe try that and uh, let me know in the comments below now if we test the fsr balanced here this is 58% render resolution scale. Again, the NVIDIA GPU pulls ahead a little bit, not by a lot, but uh, it is a win for the for the GeForce GPU while also using the superior upscaling technology. So the game is a little bit faster and it does look a little bit better. So I think uh, I think that's a win here for the GeForce GPU. Now, I just want to point out here, the next result, I'm not 100% convinced this is correct. <laughs> I'm getting the same frame rate with the LSS performance as I do get with the LSS balanced. I've actually seen one other person point this out as well. So I'm not sure if it's a bug, but yeah, you can see that using FSR performance, we actually did see quite a bit of an increase over, DL, uh, over FSR balanced, right? Whereas for me, I did not see a difference between uh, FSR uh, DLSS balanced and DLSS performance. Now, if we once again kick on frame duration, yeah, now all of a sudden where the fsr or where the radeon gpu was quite ahead at 1440p the nvidia gpu is actually now catching up it's still slightly slower but the differences at 1440p were a lot higher than what we are seeing here so that was kind of interesting i thought all right and then if we move on to the next one obviously fsr or the radeon gpu does not support uh 3x and 4x you can get 3x and 4x working with uh, lossless scaling it's actually a very good app and again i'm just showing you this performance because i know that there are people curious about this now as i said i did want to test more settings unfortunately real life and real work stuff it gets in the way <laughs> so i was very limited with my testing here but hopefully next week or the week after will be a little bit, bit a little bit better i also got a camera so you might start seeing my face sometime soon and on this note i just want to say thank you guys for watching hope you enjoyed this video if you did hit that like button hit the subscribe button and as always we hope to see you in the next one